It's been mining all night, and uh, this thing gets about 81 to 85 kilohash on random X. The 7742 dual CPUs did 87, solid 87, and this range is 81, 85, 81, 85. So um, this does it for about 50 less watts. So I'm I'm happy. I'm impressed. I'm gonna run some Cinebench on here and see what we get there. All right, let's do a Cinebench run on this baby. It says it's prepping. All right, 530 watts. Let's see here. All right, spooling up. I will resume when it's done. And these clocks are just impressive. Look at that. Also scrolling down. Oh, they're all above three. They barely dip into the high twos, but just enough for the thing to pick it up. Not even enough for you to see it. Look at this. They're all above three. Three, four, nine. I mean, dude, for a 96 core processor, this is insane. To get that high of clocks across the board all above three is to me is insane not that long ago this would be like 1.3 gigahertz or these would be like in the low low twos this thing's boosting and staying above three okay sounds good okay so it finished we got a mere 106,731 points now, I know on there it says a Threadripper 2990WX is 30,000 points, but I just want to give you guys some context. My 7900Xs do about 28 to maybe 30,000 in this test. Uh, my i7 13700K will do 30 to 31,000. This thing just hit 106,731. That is mind blowing. That is nuts. That is so many like CPUs put together. That's multiple. That's crazy. And this is a one CPU. This is just one 9654 CPU. Pretty pumped. Pretty stoked with that. Okay. So since uh, I'm done with that, I just got a few things left to do. I'm going to pull out these fans that the case came with and I'm going to put in uh, some of my Bitcoin ASIC fans or GPU ASIC fans. Um, the reason why is because they just push so much more air that when this thing really gets going it's like sitting there running a benchmark the entire time you're mining so that thing really gets moving some heat. Um, I was using these 2.6 amp uh, 2.7 amp fans because the super micro fan headers can do 3 amps if anybody's wondering um, but in this case these got a little too ham and just were vibrating like crazy so now I'm putting in these these are like 1.2 amps 1.1 amps they're 14 watt and these are awesome they move plenty of air and they're quiet which doesn't really matter because it's in a crypto farm, but they're quiet and they don't vibrate. So I have one back there. As you can tell, you can't even hear it. And it is pushing so much air, it's crazy. So I'm gonna pull out these three because I put one up here, I moved the back one up here that the case came with. I'm just gonna take these all out. These are even 140 mils, but they don't move that much air in comparison to something like this. So I'm going to take these out, and then the board will actually control all the fans now. So the fan headers, if you log into their management software on the board, you can control the fan speed and stuff. You just have like three settings, you know, powerful or normal or full, right? But it works really well. It ramps up and down with the load of the CPU. So I love that. Now all the fans will ramp up and down together instead of just the back fan and the CPU fan ramping up and down and these staying static. Everything will ramp up and down together now, which will be very nice. So I'm going to knock that out real quick. All right. 
and it's all done. It's got these fans in there, all being controlled off the motherboard fan headers. It is sweet, as you can hear it is silent right now, but it can kick up if it needs to. Super legit. So I'm gonna see if I can boot Windows off of this. No, you cannot. No, uh, you have to use the Windows Mobile. Oh well. All right, so I got Cinebench running again. I had to throw that hard drive back in there like that. And as you can hear, these fans are now ramped up. It's really pushing out some good air in the back there. So I noticed that the VRM is staying about 15 degrees cooler in Celsius. So I wonder if that's gonna affect our score. We shall see. All right, so my other two scores were 104.5 and 104.8. So, not too bad. I got that 106.7 the first time before this thing got heat soaked. But it's kind of heat soaked now. Everything's kind of warm. So, that's it, man. I mean, I'm pretty stoked with these things. Um, I've gotten, I bought two more of this uh, exact CPU and build. Just the case is a little different. Um, and now I've averaged in. So I got this one for about four grand, and I built the other two for about 2,600. That's how low I got them down to. So now my average is about three grand per server. So now this is even a cheaper, better option than the 7742s. You know, so that's kind of my what I've been doing. Um, let me know what you guys have been doing in the comments. And uh, until next time, when I'm building two more of these guys. Epic. You're truly epic. I absolutely love it. Till next time, guys.